Right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Old School Risk Progress video. Today I'm going to start off by doing a little bit of pickpocketing and some master farmers because I want to try and get my feeding up as well as get some uh, seeds on the go for farming. Uh, our farming is kind of lacking at the moment in the skill base. Obviously, runecrafting is always going to be the lowest one on the table. But yeah, I want to start getting my farming level up. We do have a couple of herbs planted at the moment, so I will have to go do a quick farm run as well. But first, as you can see, we have three easy clues. I spent a little bit of time at Sand Crabs. I uh, got two uh, attack levels from that, which is nice. Uh, so we're going to open these and fingers crossed we can get a nice reward. Yeah, the the uh, runes are nice, I suppose. Uh, number two. Absolutely nothing from that one. The Willow Longbow, um, decent, but not, not the greatest. And the last one, just some water runes, unfortunately. Not so many great rewards. I suppose we can high out the uh, the black items. Um, but other than that, everything else is pretty much useless. I suppose we could also high out these as well. Um, but yeah, some food for our cat, and that's it. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to go spend a bit of time pickpocketing the Master Farmers. Probably going to get to about 50, and then I'm going to work on getting the Rogue's outfit. So yeah, I will see you guys once we have reached that level. And hopefully it doesn't take us too long, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, so we're just pickpocketing Master Farmers, and we actually managed to get a Ranal Seed, which is amazing. Can't believe these are still worth 30k. I know that doesn't really matter to us because we are an Iron Man, but still a nice little cash added to the, added to the bank. As you can see, we've got quite a few uh, nice amount of seeds on the go. Pickpocketed pick it about almost 100 times now. Actually saying that, this, is, this one is our 100th pickpocket, as you can see. 100 um yeah quite a ni quite a ni nice amount of seeds probably not going to end up using half of these because i don't even know what half of these are for um but yeah most definitely the uh the herbal seeds are going to come in handy um and i'll probably end up using the uh vegetable seeds as well and maybe oh yeah the barley will come in handy for when we get the how uh, the um birdhouse runs on the go and the white berry seeds are actually quite decent as well but yeah we're getting a quite a nice a nice assortment of seeds on the go right now um i'm not sure how much longer i'm going to stay here but i'm going to try and get at least one level but as you can see we are failing quite a bit so fingers crossed um it won't take us too long if not i'll just have to go somewhere else and uh find a quicker way to get up to that level 50 um but we're not that far off right now we're just over 1.1.3k away to the level so yeah only a few more minutes and we should be able to get this level and there's our first level decided to switch it up a little bit as i am a bit closer to Ardy, so we can get some free foods and be a bit closer to one of the farming patches uh for when we do actually get some decent seeds um we did actually manage to get three run our seeds from the master farmer in draenor which is awesome so i'm kind of hoping this one oh quick shut i can't shut the door damn it i just picked up my cat <laughs> we've got him in the spot i want him to be in thankfully um don't like running him up and down this road it's kind of a pain but yeah hopefully we'll be here for a little bit longer and get a few nice seeds but it looks like we're going to fail quite a lot um obviously once we get to 50 we will go for the bro rose outfit but until then we're just gonna have to keep going with the uh we're getting hit every now and then right so i think what i'm actually going to do we've just hit 48 feeding i'm actually going to try something else um not too sure what it's going to be just yet um because, yeah, I'm going through a lot of food just to try and keep myself alive while pickpocket, pickpocketing the master farmers. Um, but we have got a nice amount of seeds. If we open up the menu here quickly, if I drag this over a little bit, I think you can see. Yeah, you can. Um, as you can see, we've got three Ranar seeds, which is nice, and everything else is just meh. It's semi-okay. We've got a snap a snapgrass seed, a Toflex seaweed spore, which will be nice for later. We've got a few of the herbs that we uh, seeds that we use for the um uh, birdhouse runs keep forgetting what they're called a few uh, vegetable seeds and a few miscellaneous we do also have a couple other herb seeds here uh haralanda toramin mentoril and guams probably going to end up using the taramin or mentorils first i'm not actually sure what level you need to be to farm um oh what's it called the uh, ran our seeds let's quickly have a look 32 so we need to get a couple more levels before we can start planting those we can plant the harrowlanders which is nice um but i think we only got one from that which is unfortunate but if we quickly deposit everything go into this tab we do have a decent amount of seeds we actually have 36 harrowlander seeds so that's quite nice seven renos in total so yeah i'm gonna do a couple farm runs while probably doing some thieving 
I think between, I think it takes like, what, 45 minutes or more, oops, for a few minutes or more per, um, per seed to grow. I'm not 100% sure how long it takes exactly. This cat is, like, becoming annoying. <laughs> I don't even know where he's gone. But yeah, I'm going to go do a couple of farm runs and hopefully get ourselves a quick few levels. And then I'm going to go try and do some more thieving. Right, we finally managed to make it all the way down here to Vanica. We're going to get ourselves a nice, simple Slayer task, please. That is nothing simple. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, I don't think I've got the points to skip. I do have the points to skip it, but I don't want to waste any points at the moment. So we're just going to go ahead and get it done. Hey, look at that everyone. We've just completed our first medium clue on the account. Uh, we managed to actually get this from the Harvey Box one, which is something I didn't actually realize we got until one of my friends mentioned it. But yeah, we can open it up in the Rangers Guild. One day we'll be here for that Ranger uh, 99 range cape. But we'll see what we get. Fingers crossed we can get Ranger Boots on casket number one. No Ranger Boots, unfortunately. But a Yulongbow, which is decent, I suppose. It's probably our best in-slot bow right now. But yeah, our first ever medium clue, which is amazing, for 2.3k. Right, we managed to complete that Slayer task without any extra medium clues, unfortunately. So we got managed to head back to Vanica. Fingers crossed we can get another decent task. Preferably one that can give us some extra medium clues. Also, I'd love to kill some Moss Giants for a chance of killing the boss. So let's see what we get. Crawling hands. This is probably my least favorite task, but it is very easy. So we'll go do this quick. And another Slayer task complete. Come on, Vanica. Lesser demon? Are you joking? Oh, I know why. It's because I had it selected so they don't talk about my combat level. Yeah, it's because I did this, isn't it? Um, I suppose that'd be good XP, but that is a very risky task to get. I suppose I could actually safe spot it and do some ranged, maybe. Because I do need to get my ranged up. So yeah, we'll, we'll give that a go. Right, welcome back to a long break of the Iron Man. Haven't played on this account for about two months, unfortunately. But I decided to jump on, and as you can see, we're currently outside the Winter Todd camp. Um, I have actually been doing some fire making uh, between... This episode and last, um, if we activate a look at our skills, we're currently sitting at 92 fire making, which is amazing. I do plan on going for 99 eventually, but I think I'm going to take a break for now because getting from, I believe, I think I was 80 when I started this. And yeah, this is taking me a very long time. Um, but we have got a bunch of crates. I don't think I was 80 actually. I think it was a bit, a little bit lower. If we go into tab 7, we have a bunch of these crates here. So I'm going to spend this uh, this little clip uh, opening all of these. Most of these are just like three to four rolls. Um, unfortunately, I've not been soloing Winter Todd because I'm not that good at it. Uh, I always end up messing up. So we're just going to see how many we can get. And fingers crossed we can get maybe a pet and a bunch of rewards. So we're just going to start opening ten at a time, see what we can get. And we've also already got the full outfit, so don't really need any of these. So we'll probably trade these in for other stuff, which is awesome. Hey, you got another time of fire. That's pretty awesome. We do already have one, obviously, but a second one is very nice. And it looks like we've only got 12 more crates to open, so we're just going to hopefully try and get the pet in these last 12. Doesn't look like we're actually going to get it, but we are getting some decent rewards. A bunch of mahogany and magic seeds. Last crate, unfortunately no pet, but we did manage to get a decent amount of stuff. Um, I'm not too sure about all the items that we did manage to get, but we did actually get 200k cash from that. Unfortunately, Runelight doesn't track this, which is so annoying. It should be a feature that this um, 
this uh, client has, but unfortunately it's not. Did manage to get a decent amount of gems and stuff, a uh, bunch of diamonds, a bunch of rubies, um, quite a few amount of logs as well. Not, not, I should have probably kept track of what we got, but it's fine. Um, managed to get some raw food as well. So we've got some raw sharks, tuna, swordfish, a uh, bunch of nice seeds. Torso seeds are nice. Um, three snapdragons, one magic tree seed, which is awesome. 150k or on that one. Uh, did manage to get a few herbs as well. Mm, not the best amount of herbs, unfortunately, but still decent. But yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, I think I only had about 120 crates there. Um, but obviously, we do have still got... We've still got a few more to get. So eventually, once I go for 99, we'll probably just save up the rest. And fingers crossed, get ourselves the pet and maybe some more pieces. I'm actually going to trade in the extra pieces that we got. So we've, uh, I don't know if we could trade in the gloves or the torch, but we'll see. Because we do have the full outfit, so there's no point keeping these. So let's just trade them in. Uh, let's go for crates. Why not? Oh, yeah. So you can trade in every, a bit of everything. Trade in that. Uh, I've got, really got to do it like that. Oh, there we go. That's better. I've only got one. Trade in the torches. Extra crate. I know these crates are only going to give us one extra roll, but at the chance of getting another pet, it's great. So there we go. So we've got another six crates. Quam, Cash, Tuna, Emeralds, Aventos, and Ulogs, which isn't bad. But yeah, unfortunately, no decent rewards from that. We did manage to get another set and another, another Tome of Fire, which is nice. But we are going to go back to doing some Slayer and some other skills. Because I think we really ideally need to get some of these stats up before we come back here. So yeah, I'll see you probably in another couple of months. When I decide that I'm going to do some more skills. I do want to get my crafting up actually and Hunter. They're the main things I'm going to do right now. But we'll see what we get done. Right, so I've just managed to get to 45 crafting from all the gems uh, that we've got in the bank. I do still have all the rubies and diamonds to chop. But we'd managed to get to 45 crafting, which means we can make snakeskin boots and maple um, birdhouses, which is nice. So we can finally start getting some hunter level, a decent hunter XP. Um, I'm not actually sure if we could do the maple birdhouses. Oh, we can. Awesome. We can actually do mahogany, but at the moment we don't have it, that many mahogany logs, I don't think. Uh, if we check the bank here. Oh, no. We do have quite a few of them, so I could probably do a couple of mahogany birdhouse runs, but... I need the crafting level first. Let me just double check what the actual crafting level is for Mahogany. 50. So if we get five more crafting levels, I'll be able to do some of that. But for now, we're just going to do some maple. Right, so one thing I didn't realize is I don't actually have a clock space to be able to build the clockworks for birdhouses. So yeah, this is me doing that now. I've just got a level from that apparently. But yeah, we're going to go for the tier two crafting table just so we can build ourselves a couple clockwork so if we go craft we can build a couple clockwork mechanisms so yeah now we can actually do a couple bird hash runs i'm only going to make four of these because that's all i actually need yep. and there we go we can now officially go do our first bird run on the iron man bird run bird house run on the iron man and there marks the start of our first birdhouse run on the Iron Man. I've done this quest quite a few times now, and this part is possibly the worst part about it. Having to search through the chest, sometimes you don't find anything, other times you do. It's just a pain. It's, un it's wasted time. Why can't they just make it so you just collect five pipes or bars? Why can't they just do that? This quest, this is just a rant right now, but this quest is a nightmare. <sighs> but I've just completed the Tower of Life, Life quest, so now we can actually start getting some like more spider eggs and stuff like that until we finally go and do Seracnus. Uh, so this is going to be our best way to get um, a few little bit easy uh, side spideens and stuff like that. I can't remember what else you can get from here. Um, but the main thing I want to get at the moment is red spider eggs. So yeah, we're going to go do a little bit of that probably going to spend a few probably a couple hundred uh, sardines and spider eggs to get ourselves a decent collection 
Um, but yeah, I'll be back once I've got a bunch of those on the go because I want to start getting my Herblore up. And yeah, this is like the best way to get them for me at the moment. Right, so I was just about to go ahead and do the uh, creature creation um, for some more red spiders eggs. But I realized that because I don't have the, me uh, what is this, the medium achievement diary completed, we don't get them noted. So I'm going to have to go do the achievement diary first, uh, which is going to make it a little bit simpler for us. But yeah, I did also manage to get a red satchel from one kill, which is kind of amazing because if we could check the drops here uh you'll have to ignore some of these because they are from my main um but if we drag this over spideens three kill uh three eggs one set of bones and a satchel from one kill which is nice but yeah i'm gonna go do uh, a couple of the achievement diaries and then hopefully we'll be able to do this uh pretty quickly okay so this is the first uh actual birdhouse that we've managed to collect on the iron man I won't lie to you, I've not been on this account for about three months. Um, so yeah, let's empty our first maple birdhouse for 800 hunter XP, which is really nice. I love the fact this is a super passive hunter experience. So, um, basically, you almost get about 4k XP per, what was it, about every 20, 30, 40 minutes maybe, which is really nice. So yeah, we're going to do a couple of these today. Hopefully, we can get ourselves some decent levels. Um, but yeah, that's our first run in about three months. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so from a full run at the birdhouses, unfortunately, we were only able to get three birdhouse uh, net, bird nests, sorry, and not that great of seeds, unfortunately. 200 feathers is nice, but um, hopefully in the future we can get a bit, a bit more RNG and get a few more uh, birdhouses. All right, so I was doing some fishing, but I think I'm going to go give uh, Temporus a go on the Iron Man. Uh, I've done it on the main a couple of times. It, it's a pretty easy boss. Um, it's quite AFK, so I might just give this a go. Uh, I've got ourselves set up. Hopefully, this isn't going to be too difficult. And hopefully, we can get ourselves some nice rewards. I really want to get... I just missed the de departure, unfortunately. Hopefully, we can get ourselves some of the unique rewards quite early in this grind. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I've just managed to complete my first Temporus run. Almost getting 4,000 points, which is nice, giving us four reward permits. We're going to grab ourselves a net from over here and just even get super lucky and get ourselves a pet or maybe some unique rewards on the first four chests. Fingers crossed we can get something good. Uh, I'm not expecting anything from this because I know they've nerfed the drop rates, but we'll see what we can, if we can get anything from this. Starting off with some raw fish, some spirit flakes, which is nice. And the last reward, I believe we got some... What did we get? Oh, I don't know, because it's actually continued on from my main. I think we got some more Spirit Flakes. I'm not too sure. But that wasn't a bad reward. Uh, the Spirit Flakes are definitely kind of going to come in handy for future. And this is going to be good for cooking XP. But yeah, that's pretty decent. And on to the next 99kc. <laughs> And there is 70 fishing. We can now get leaping sturgeons. That's a nice little level to get, definitely at Temporis as well. Um, I'm actually going to stay here for a little bit longer because I want to try and get some of the decent rewards. Also, I keep looking at this guy's pet and I really want to get it. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to focus on getting that for now. But, yeah, nice little level to get. Unfortunately, we're miles away from being about the same level as the main. But, fingers crossed, this won't take us too long. Well, so before we continue on with the Temporous grind, I'm going to go get myself the Angler's Outfit. Um, it's going to give us a bit of a boost in fishing XP. Also, we can get ourselves the new Spirit... I, believe, I can't remember what it's called, the Spirit out Outfit, um, where basically we don't need a rope to tie ourselves to the mast every time the waves come across. So, yeah, we're going to go do that, mainly for the XP, but mainly as well for the extra feature. And that's our first ever game complete of Fishing Trawler. See if we can get first luck RNG. No. We're just going to bank everything we get and go back into another. Well, the randomly, we just managed to get 53 Hunter and we can now catch Chin Chompers. Unfortunately, not red Chin Chompers just yet, but the standard ones will do. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. There's 40 construction from doing this mini game. Oh my god, finally managed to get an Angler Boots. Um, that is... The first item we've managed to get in 24 KC. Finally managed to get a second piece of the Anger outfit. Two more to go and we're done. 
Hey, got the angler hat, finally. One piece left to go. Please? <gasps> yes, we managed to get the final piece. Almost back to back, about two games after. We are done. The only reason we have to come back here is for the pet, and I'll just bank that. God dang it. Let's get that out of the bank. There we go. Full angler set has been achieved on the Iron Man account. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I apologize that it's been so long since I last uploaded, but yeah, thank you for watching.